What's up, everybody? Uh, I know it's been a while, but I, uh, you know, I've been away at prehab. Just busted out. Still using though. Take that to the bank. Why don't we answer some of your questions before I prelapse? At Krill Chalk asks, uh, if you had to do cardio, no homo, what would you go for? Okay, if I absolutely had to do cardio, I'd make sure to hit the big three. Running, cycling, and swimming. Running through hose, cycling pre-workout, and swimming in pussy. That's fitness. That's justice. At de Department of, of Fence asks, how can I maintain my pump during sleeping hours in case of an early morning beach trip? You should always be prepared for an emergency beach trip. This is like having an emergency action plan for a house fire. They both come out of nowhere and they're both hot. Hot like fire. And they're full. Full like house. And they both have the same plan. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop being a bitch. Drop down and do some pushies. Roll face. At TLE Nas 65 asks, Is it okay to go to the gym on Valentine's Day to pick up a pump? On Valentine's Day, you're expected to get shit for your girl. And yeah, flowers are nice, but you can't fuck flowers. So instead of going out and picking up chocolates or flowers, go to the gym and pick your girl up a pump. A pump consists of three things that girls go fucking crazy for. Blood, organs, and rage. Blood because of boners, organs because girls like hearts and shit, and rage because also of boners. So ask yourself, what do you think is gonna get you in that strawberry pop tart? Some weak ass, dainty, floppy fucking flowers? Or a hard body, thick, red, throbbing muscle guy with a short temper? Yeah, me too. At E.T. Hanshaw asks, How does one define the word lifting? Well, E.T., Google defines lifting as to pick up and move to a different position. I define lifting as what you're not even doing. At Buns of Steel asks, uh, How many sets of bench press should I do on leg day? Pairing legs with a much cooler body part, i.e. chest, or anything that isn't legs, is a great way to get yourself to do legs. You reward yourself with a sick upper body pump for not skipping leg day. So let me give you an example of a good leg slash chest workout. First, you want to go to the squat rack. Get the heavy leg exercises out of the way. Before that, you want to go to the bench and warm up your bench so you're ready for bench when you got a bench, which is now. Now you're going to want to do two warm-up sets of bench press, and then go ahead and max out. And then head to the squat rack, because remember, you're doing legs and chest. Put the bar on your back, just the bar, no weight. Stretch out, do a couple warm-ups. And then you want to put on 135 and do one set of that. And then you're going to want to do a couple chest exercises. Get your pump going so you can do the rest of your squats with a nice chest pump. Bench press for four sets of 8 to 10. Make sure to rest for enough time to allow somebody else to take the squat rack. And while you're waiting for the squat rack to free up, head over to the dumbbells and grab a couple heavies for some very close step lunges over to a bench. Throw the dumbbells on your knees and launch into some incline dumbbell press. Four sets, eight to ten. And once you finish incline press, remember to keep your workout even. Head over to cable flies to really isolate your chest. And once that's done, don't forget the lower half of your chest. Do some decline bench or some dips or both. And there you have it. A complete, fair and balanced chest work, chest and leg workout. At Adam, uh, at Adam asks, uh, what are some of the symptoms of SBTY syndrome? Though you've probably never experienced any of these, here are some of the symptoms of still bigger than you syndrome. Shirt tightness. Looking at your own bicep when you shake somebody's hand. Invisible lat syndrome. Being always right. Talking down to smaller people, also known as Down Syndrome. And these are just to list a few. So if you have experienced any of these symptoms, please go see your doctor and remind him that he doesn't know shit about the human body because he doesn't even have one. At Dell asks, if I buy some hashtag Dom merch, how much does my max bench increase? Let's just put it this way. When I'm rocking Dom merch and people ask me how much I can bench, I just tell them all of it. And when I'm not rocking the merch, I just usually answer them truthfully. Which is like most of it. At, at Anhu oh, asks, uh, my coach had us do CrossFit the other day. What should I do? Okay, a couple of questions here. Um, number one, is your coach named Jerry Sandusky? Because don't let anybody fool you. CrossFit and molestation go hand in hand. Or in your case, dick and butt. And number two, can you show me on this cat where the coach made you lose your gains? Fuck, shit. 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Each subscription comes with a free cat. This cat. Um, seriously, take this thing. I'm pretty sure it's out to get me. Fuck. Jesus Christ!